So let's get these guys installed and then let's finally do a real pull on the car and see what the turbo can do, which is what I'm excited for. Um, Axel, open the garage real quick. Let's get this car inside. Oh, there she is. She looks super dirty. Like I was kind of embarrassed driving it to work. It looks super nasty. Oh, and my, if you guys didn't notice, my road forms are out. I actually have them back here. Um, I'm painting them white. Because the white is going to look really sick with the wrap I'm going to do in the car. Which I'm not going to tell anybody just yet. But it's going to look really, really different. Because I'm done focusing on performance mods for right now. I'm going to focus more on visual uh, modifications, right? So the car is going to look crazy like six months down the road. And then I'm going to go back, probably add some meth, probably add... Um, I know I still need the cold air intake. Um, I run like a high pressure fuel pump to run e back on the E85 because I can't run E85 anymore. Um, tuner says I have to upgrade my high pressure fuel pump before I do that. But all that is going to be waiting. Let's do the let's do the spark plugs and then we'll go from there. Um. Fast forward five minutes or so. Actually, no, it was probably like ten. Anyways, fast forward ten minutes. Um, we took off all the the covers in the car from the up, up here. We removed the original coil pack, which is on the floor, which probably shouldn't be on the floor. It should probably be somewhere over there where it's clean because it's kind of dirty. But we'll clean them up before we install them. Um, we're ready to install the new spark plugs and. The crazy thing is I swore I got NGK last time because I was already like full bolt-ons, right? I was already pushing like a good amount of power over stock. But I guess it turns out I was running the Bosch, which is pretty much the same as the BMW OEM. OEM. They're they're great for long-lasting, you know, at least like 20K without replacing them on um, stock horsepower. Which I wasn't, which explains why I was always, because whenever I, I ran my regular tune on 91 when I was just fear bolt-ons, not including the turbo, it was fine for the most part. I don't remember it ever being too weird, like misfiring weird. But um, when I ran my E85 tune or when I ran my E50 tune, um, that's when sometimes, just sometimes, probably like maybe 80% 80, 80 of the time it was fine. The rest, when we, when we stepped on it, um, we started getting all these like like misfiring, like the car would be like, da, 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 like, you know? Um, so that explains it. I swore I had NGK. It turns out to be Bosch. So it's great because now we're going to uh, throw in the NGK. They're supposed to be stage two cooler than the OEM. So these guys should be able to handle my power. If they don't, like I said, I'm just going to jump up to the, what is it called? The, God damn it. I swore I remember like, like literally two minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to put the picture again right here, but I'm going to jump up to those eventually. Just that right now I feel like the NGK should do the trick. Um, if they don't, then I'll just jump forward. But yeah, let's get these uh, new spark plugs in. Let's get the car on the road. I really want to be out there. And it stopped raining. The floor is still wet, so I don't know if it's a smart idea to go out right now. But at least it stopped raining, so... And then the freaking stock tires are like, what, 225s? I don't know, but... But let's get you. We're, we're still going to do it.
So we're five spark plugs now out of the car. Uh, we have one remaining and I can't believe how bad they look. They're completely burned out. I'm surprised my car didn't misfire like sooner when I was running like the E85. Like how it didn't misfire like completely. Cause it would go into lit mode here and there, but it would never completely misfire. Like I wouldn't, I would never like get an, um, a check engine light saying that I need to replace it or cylinder six or whatever cylinder five is out, blah, blah, blah. I never got anything like that, which is a surprise cause those things are completely black. So I'm kind of excited for these NGK because I, I know for sure that was the problem. Um, so that means I can hold off on the ignition coils and replace them some other time. So these new spark plugs, uh, the better ones, right? They came pre-gapped with that. Oh, you have them already? Um, they came pre-gapped uh, by 0.30, which is like OEM spec, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know, or uh, I guess we needed a gap them i don't know but they came in they came 0.30 uh, millimeters right to i looked up online the best like size to gap my uh, spark plugs because i'm obviously running the the state 2 turbo now right so from what i read online if you put tw 0.22 to 0.23 is good for anything around like 25 psi which is roughly where i'm at i'm probably going to be like at 22 23 just because i haven't upgraded my 3.0 uh, maps sensor to increase that PSI, which I don't think I'm going to do because the turbo is not like a huge turbo. Um, it's definitely bigger than what I had before, but it's nothing like crazy big. So I'm going to keep the OEM uh, map, the 3.0 map sensor. Um, I'm just going to gap these guys to 0.22 um, and see what it, what the performance is. If I don't like it and something's messed up or misfires, I'll just go back to 0.23 or 0.24. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a, a trial run, which I'm excited to do right now. And just like that, we're done. We put the new spark plugs in. We tested it out before we put everything out. We were cars good now. The car runs fine. Um, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm probably gonna drive around the block a little bit, um, get it warmed up, and then we're gonna get to the pulls. Like I said, not really hardcore pull, hardcore pulls this time, just because obviously the, the floor is wet, and that'd be stupid of me to freaking just floor it, um, especially with these small ass tires. And it's raining, so let's go test it out. Maybe we'll do like half a pull or something. You ready, Axel? I'm ready. Let's get this. And actually, about maybe a week ago, I ended up picking this Google Pixel. And usually I use an iPhone as like my primary phone. And I kind of like this phone. Just because I was using like a really like basic Android tablet, like a maybe a $30 one, to power my MHD and everything. And it was super slow. So I... I thought it was probably best if I got a good Android device just for the car. So I'm going to leave this phone probably just here. Probably mount it somewhere around here just for I can have my gauges and everything running. Which is what I'm going to end up doing. So let's go ahead and give this guy a little bit of juice. So everything seems fine. It doesn't seem like it's misfiring. All right, so I'm gonna get out of the garage and we'll let Axel get in. He's gonna hold the camera, that way we can uh, do a couple of test pulls and stuff.
so like you guys saw that definitely the issue is still there it's definitely not fixed it's time to save up a little bit and get the precision race work ignition kit which comes with like the spark plugs the coils everything like i said i'm gonna once again put the picture because i forgot what it's called that little pole i did where it actually gripped on and the turbo just completely kicked in was a totally different experience from my full bolt on um i had running 85 right like it felt completely different it felt like a completely different car and it felt amazing so i can't wait to get the tires on for it not to rain and get this ignition kit that way i can do like full on launch on it which once i get all that stuff done you guys are going to be the first ones to see that so. everything you said they already knew more or less so here's something that you didn't know Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off.